Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Health Reps. So in today's video, we'll be discussing sore throats, itchy throats, prevention, treatments, and all sorts. I've had a lot of DMs recently concerning itchy throats. I don't know, maybe it's because of the weather and everything, but lots of DMs, especially my elder brother, he'll just call me and be like, oh sis, I had this or I had that. So I said, why not do a video on it and just teach everyone how to just take care of sore throats or itchy throats. It's a very simple method because you have simple home remedies that can help you deal with such things. You have simple home remedies, but if you still want, you can still go to the pharmacy, meet the pharmacist and discuss with the pharmacist about the itchy throat. Now, I'm going to start with some home remedies. Like I most often, I also suffer itchy throats at times, especially pharyngitis. Yeah, that's infection of the pharynx most of the time. And it happens to me when I change environment. I don't know, one time, on three occasions, it has happened to me and I realized that it's whenever I'm in a new environment, I get pharyngitis. So I've always known how to take care of it. And whenever I'm traveling to a new place, I get my meds with me because I don't want to suffer it. It's really discomforting and I want to help people, you know, some home remedies that you can actually use to work and deal with sore throats and itchy throats. Now, sometimes when you're having itchy throats, it's a symptom to show that something is coming up or an infection. Sometimes an itchy throat could just be a sign of cough or an infection. Like me, when I normally have itchy throats, I know, I always know it's pharyngitis, especially if I've changed a new environment. So what I normally do is I change my toothbrush, use a new toothbrush and treat using home remedies. Now these home remedies, I'm going to be sharing them with you, natural remedies that you can use to clear itchy throats any day, any time. The first one, which we all know is salt in warm water, gargling salt in warm water. Like that is my mother's holy grail. Like seriously, anything happening to you, your church will just tell you, eh, use warm water, gargle with salt. And you just be doing all of like, <laughs> like 30 minutes or so and do it immediately. You notice when you finish doing it, like how many gargles and you spit out. And like within two minutes, your throat, there's sort of a relief you feel in your throat and it helps most of the times. But I normally do it like four or five times in a day so that I can be very, very comfortable. And yes, to think of carrying salt and gargling with warm water. But that's my mom's number one holy grail. When it comes to anything, throat, itchy, your mouth, she'll just tell you, gargle salt in warm water. Another thing I've discovered, especially from my neighbor, my neighbor does baking soda with salt and warm water. I'm still yet to understand the react the chemical reaction and all that if it works but the fact that there is salt in there that one I can trust because I've been doing that one for a long time but I'm still going to understand the one with baking soda like my neighbor uses baking soda and warm water and salt to gargle and it has been working for him according to him and well <laughs> different things work for everyone different people the next one I'll be using is honey. Everybody knows honey is a natural ingredient. Honey has antibacterial properties. Honey is used for wound healing. Now, honey is taken as its own research shows that it is an effective wound healer. Now, if you have sore throat, what you normally do is people lick honey or you can go prepare warm tea. Take tea with honey in it and just um, drink it. It has a soothing property. Like you just tend to feel relieved. Like in the next two three minutes after taking honey. I've seen a time when a French introduced me to bitter cola and honey. I uh, I have to tell you the truth. For me personally, it was terrible. But then I've seen people use it to treat cough because most sore throats tend to you know if it's not treated, if it's not taken care of, it leads to cough. And people use it in order to prevent, but it's used as a preventative measure, not really a treatment. From me, I'm just saying from an experience, using bitter cola and honey together, it wasn't really magical for me. I didn't really enjoy the fact that it was bitter cola. Like seriously, no, 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 that's just a no, no for me. But honey, honey works well, honey works fine. Another thing I'll be sharing is chamomile tea. 
Now, this chamomile tea is nice. It's really lovely because I've used it. I drink the tea a lot. Um, but while I was taking the tea, I never took it for sore throat. I was taking it because chamomile tea, if you take it to you, notice it tends to induce sleep. Um, I suffered from really bad insomnia. I think that was my year two. Yeah, while I was in school in year two, I suffered really bad insomnia. Like, I found it difficult to sleep. So my mom introduced me to the tea and I was like, because I'm always skeptical when I'm taking anything, especially something that is new to me. What I did, I did my research on it and I found that a chamomile has been used long before now and people have been using it, it has been working. So I gave it a try. Mine came in tea bags, yeah. It came in tea bags. What I do before every night, before I sleep, I just you know make a cup of tea with it at the bar put one bag in the cup and just drink it and you tend to see my muscles tend to relax and when my muscles relax i notice i next minute i'm falling asleep yeah so that's how chamomile tea works for me and i know chamomile it has some medicinal you know purposes and people have said normally it's used to cure since so it's used for symptoms of cough cold people normally use it when you feel relief after taking it if you're suffering a cold or you're suffering an itchy throat most people but no i wouldn't recommend chamomile tea for itchy throat because itchy throat there are a lot of things that could cause itchy throat and you need to understand what exactly is causing it before you can treat it properly but for um common cold and sleep is what I know chamomile tea does for me personally. I'm just saying these things based on personal experience because I have used these things. So I know how well or how good they work for me. The next thing I'll be sharing is peppermint. Yes, we all know peppermint contains menthol or other sweets that contain menthol. I take them normally when I tend to have sore throats because it eases it for me. And even when I'm having itchy throat, it's just a temporary reliever for me. It relieves my throat and I just go about my day, you know, licking it. But at the same time, just know that using peppermint is somewhat temporary. You have to still understand what's causing the itchy throat. And the last thing I will be sharing is garlic. Like most people underestimate the power of garlic. Now, Normally, at the time, what I was doing was I would mix garlic, ginger, turmeric, and lemon and just prepare something like a tea with those things. It's powerful. I know I was doing this thing at home with lemon and I was taking it every time, especially when the COVID hit, the first time the COVID really hit, I was taking it as more like a preventative method for me. I was just taking it and... It was good because I noticed a lot of things changed while I was taking it and cold I never got cold that period anytime I noticed that <coughs> and it's more than I just <coughs> I just run immediately to drink it and just to avoid any story so like I said most people really underestimate garlic even if you notice people who take garlic supplements I know one um, it's quite expensive it's called garlicky like that's the name of the supplement it's contains a lot of garlic and you notice they hardly suffer from common cold common cold they hardly would you see them say they're having cold or something even cooking with garlic like incorporating garlic in your food while cooking it helps eating it so please these are the natural home remedies that i have used and i know that they have worked for me they have worked one way or the other for me and mostly natural home remedies because I'm a very impatient person. Uh, I just use them for mostly preventative methods. But when <clears throat> when the thing really hits, I know the salt really hits, I have to go to the pharmacy to get a prescription. I have to go to my doctor, get a prescription, and then get that medicine from a pharmacy. Now, because if you're really impatient like me, I would just advise you, to use the salt and warm water method then you can go to the pharmacy and say complain about the itchy throat because most times these in itchy throats they're caused by bacterial infections so you have to be given an antibiotics to treat it and resolve everything going down there most times these itchy throats could also lead to cough 
if prolonged, if not treated immediately, it could lead to cough and some other things. So please, let's just take care of ourselves and stay safe out there. Please and please subscribe, like, comment and share and also if there's something else you use for sore throats and itchy throats that works for you please drop in the comment section i would really love to do a research to like expand you know my knowledge and things i use i would like to give it a try on new things but especially that baking soda and salt is one thing i would actually try like really put it to test and know how it works for me but personally these natural remedies i have listed they work fine for me i have used all of them and they work really fine for me but please if you have any other you know ingredient or home remedy that you use that i didn't mention in this video please drop in the comment section and i will be really glad you did thank you so much see you on my next video bye